not typical MI5. What's going on? Ex-service agent. Found dead. Call Sir Jeff. Heart failure. He was in his 60s, smoked, drank. Oh, do all that. And look at me. Huh? I'm in my prime. Gary, your character is hypnotizing to watch for so many obvious reasons. Um, we know it's been written in the books. You read what's in the script. How do you take from that and build such a nuanced character in Jackson Lamb? I honestly believe that th those nuances are there. Um, I think that Mick, speaking for me personally and not the other characters, but certainly with Jackson Lamb, I think Mick Heron has conjured up such a, a, a three-dimensional, deep, complex character. And that I, I only really have to come in and, you know, apply my focus and concentration and some talent and some intuition and a bit of imagination. But a great deal, that I really do believe, honestly and truly, a, a, a lot of the work has really has re really been done for me. Yeah, and I think to do the characters justice, you have to play the nuances. If, if we're really going to bring these characters to life, you know, we you have to go all around and down and around and and he's given us the template to do that, really. Yeah, Mick has. Yeah. Also, that's a nod uh, to. Uh, Will Smith, who is the head writer of the show, and his team of writers who have captured, have managed to capture the real spirit and the essence of a book, because six episodes is, it's it's great uh, to tell the story, but um, I think it was John Le Carre who said, uh, you know, when you take a book and you make it into a film or you make it into a series. You know, it's like taking a cow and t turning it into a bullion cube. You know, you've got to reduce the whole thing down to just this sort of bowl of soup. Um, and I think that they've done a really terrific job. Um, but follow the, with good riding, you know, follow the, follow the signposts because they're all there. Russian sleeper agents embedded in British society. They've been reactivated. More people are going to die. If you uncovered the trail that quickly, it couldn't have been that well hidden. Thanks. I, I know that you and Gary had known each other prior to doing the series, and I know you kind of work the same way as actors. But what I really want to know is, what kind of shenanigans went on between the two of you while you were filming that helped strengthen the relationship between River and Jackson? Um, I mean, not nothing too too shenanigans. We just uh, make each other laugh a lot because um, it's quite hard. I mean, it's impossible not to with this and and the character that he's playing in particular next to the character that I'm playing. It's um, <clears throat> where I'm essentially a sort of very miserable, uh, one big eye roll kind of thing. Uh, and he's this embarrassing boss dad kind of thing. So we just make each other laugh and we have stupid suggestions as to what we could do in the scenes. Um, some make them, some don't. Um, but he's just super easy to get on with. And now the show's been picked up for an additional two seasons. So congratulations on that. Um, what are you most excited to explore with your character now knowing that you get to share more with the world? I'm quite excited about his relationships uh, and how they develop rather than sort of the things he gets to do. I'm, I'm quite excited about where him and Lam are going to end up and, you know, if they're going to end up really liking each other or... Uh, you know, whatever. But I, I also quite like the relationship with the grandfather and how that comes to the fore. Um, but definitely the relationships more than the sort of running around. Yeah. Slow Horses is back on Apple TV Plus December 2nd. I'm Sari Cohen. I'll see you next time. There is a plane packed with explosives. 
thousands of people, they're gonna die. Sometimes the only way to work out why a trap has been set is to walk into it.